So, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the Peder Soli booth. This is their 60th, 60th years of anniversary. So this is quite an old company. They have been part of the repro business for many, many years now, many, many decades now. And this is the 2017 novelty. It's the repro of the Lawrence rifle, a long-weighted firearm on the historical firearms market. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so this is the 1854 model Type 2 Lawrence rifle intended for the third line troops. So it is equipped with a long range, uh, long range sight. The first two lines originally received uh, the same rifle but with a block sight, uh, regulated to 300 paces. Okay, the barrel is uh, the standard Lawrence barrel, so which means it has five, uh, four grooves and four lens. And the uh, twist rate is one turn in 2,000 millimeters, so that is uh, around one turn in 78 inches. So it is exactly as the original. The caliber of the bore is 13.9 millimeter, and they are also going to manufacture the proper bullet mold for the rifle. So you are going to be able to buy the Lawrence compression bullet mold for the rifle as well. The stock is oiled American walnut, and it is it is the proto rifle. So there will be minor uh, minor changes. This is so new; it's nearly hot. But uh, but altogether, I have to say that it is going to be a good repro. So the front sight is going to be changed. It must be in diagonal position because uh, it is a guide for the for the for the helical slot of the socket bayonet. So this is going to be changed. You see the ramrod. That's also the copy of the original. And the casting seems to be very very good quality. This more tromblon here is guiding the ramrod into the channel in the stock. We have the standard Lawrence long range rear sight here, graduated up to 900 paces. Exactly as the original. Exactly as the original. And here is the lock. You can see it's a standard 1854 lock. Uh, you are going to have the proper markings, so you are going to have the double headed eagle here at the back of the lock, and also you are going to receive the three digit uh, production date here. So it, is, it will be exactly as the original and also maybe you are going to have some unit markings on the board as it was on the issued Lawrence rifles. Let's check the stock. You see the cheek piece on the, on the left side of the stock, so exactly as the original. It's a long-weighted item for the NSSA shooters, the reenactors, and also for us Europeans because this is a very important part in the European history as well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, whatever it is, it's quite impressive. This is a double barrel pistol. I think for home defense it can be good. The caliber is 45 long Colt. It also accepts the, the fort and shotgun cartridges. So it's, uh, it has quite a good punch. Well, it has some Italian traditions for sure. So if you're a Mafia member, maybe then you can be interested in this gun also. But altogether it's a fine quality gun. You see the checkered pistol grip, which looks strange, but it's actually quite comfortable. <laughs> and we have the mastermind behind this, Mr. Pierangelo Pedersoli, celebrating the 60th anniversary of the Pedersoli company. Pierangelo, you have to tell me what it is. What's this? <laughs> nice pistol. It's a nice pistol. This is a 45 410. Uh, it's a copy of uh, an Itaca pistol manufactured at the be beginning of 1900. Uh, the difference with that gun is this one is rifle, mm -hmm. uh, but it may chamber the 45 call and the 410. So it's a historical repro as well? Yep. Yep. Yeah, okay. yep. 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 And uh, uh, it's, it's, it's gaining a lot of interest in the US. It became one of the most interesting, interesting product, uh, uh, one of the most interesting product uh, at the Shacho. But even before the Shacho, it went on the NRA magazine journal. So it's, it's incredible, but it's doing very, very well. And it's well made, very well made. 
the system is a normal shotgun system. This means that you're firing the pistol, uh, firing the right barrel with the front trigger and the rear trigger fires the other barrel. You have a small rear sight here, which is a very simple rear sight as you don't need to aim too much if you're in a home defense situ situation. You have a safety here, so it's quite a good choice if you are shooting for limited range or for a hunter self-defense gun with some with some touch of classic feel. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is Peder Soli's new target pistol. It kind of looks like the Hege Zieber, old Hege Zieber, and I think it's a very good comfortable pistol. It uh, will be made in several calibers. You can see that it, it, is, uh, uh, it has the standard Kentucky percussion lock, which means that you can be, it, it can be easily converted to flintlock as well. What is new is it has a French set trigger system. And this pistol is intended for the beginners, for uh, as a value for money category. It's a Peder gun, so you can be sure that it will take you up to the up to the podium on any international matches if you practice enough, of course. But it's cheap. It will be well under 500 euros uh, retail price, so it is a good pistol for the beginners, I'm sure. Ladies and gentlemen, that's an also value for money gun from Pedersoli. It, uh, it is part of the traditional Hawken line, so you can see many interchangeable parts with the Hawken rifles. But this one is a single shot shotgun, which is uh, currently, this is presented with a percussion lock, but this is also the small Kentucky uh, lock that they use on several other rifles and pistols, which means that you can convert it easily to flint lock. This is a 12 gauge shotgun. It has two sides. We have a small bead rear sight and the bead front sight. It's light enough. It's equipped with the rubber recoil pad. This is basically made for American Boy Scout, but uh, in fact, I think it will be a good choice for the hunters as well, as you're going to receive a really light, good value for money gun for your hunting activities. Yeah, and it's comfortable. There's some elegant cheek piece here. The shotgun just handles very well. 